Suburban city leaders could be pressing control alt delete on a plan to bring a massive data center to the city of Peculiar. I'm John Holtz. I'm Lauren Halifax. So the project's now getting a reboot as it heads back to a planning commission. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco explains why this board wants to repeal zoning changes that its members already approved. This project has been slated for 500 acres here in the city of 6,000. That's more than twice the size of Truman Sports Complex. But some neighbors here have questioned what they'd be getting as a result. Citizens have asked questions, you can't get answers. And so you don't know what you're getting. But since Peculiar approved data centers as permitted usage in light industrial zoning, 203rd Street neighbors have been doing their research. Chad Buck says they traveled to surrounding states and found hyperscale data centers look different than those in proposals to the city of Peculiar. They used Tons and tons of water, tons and tons of power, and the infrastructure and all the things that go along with them uh, that are just super burdensome. Not to mention they're <clears throat> 50 foot from existing uh, residential neighborhoods. Last month, the Board of Aldermen said they wanted to undo those changes after hearing concerns about noise and other issues. We feel our ordinance is a light industrial, it's not a light industrial, and we've all figured that out. But who's there? Who's there? <laughs> Peculiar's mayor accused the board of kowtowing to a, quote, boisterous and ill-informed group who live across the street from the proposed data center just outside city limits. They get their information off Facebook. <laughs> I get my information. They are, they are against this because they read something on Facebook that their, their dog's hair was going to fall out and all these things like that. They publicly say that, you know, and not acknowledge that we have legitimate concerns that, you know, they never, they never addressed. Neither the city administrator nor the mayor responded to requests for comment, but in the same post, he said the board had effectively killed the project that could have brought hundreds of millions to the city. He'd go on to say the very public debacle has damaged the city's reputation and ability to attract development in the future. The developer, Diode, says it's not discussing specifics about Peculiar because there's no active application submitted given the extended moratorium by city leaders, but said generally data centers bring a multitude of benefits to communities big and small. This now heads back to the Planning Commission Thursday, a special meeting. There's going to be a public hearing on that. They've moved it over to the school district's Innovation Academy so more people can attend. In Peculiar, Dave Marco, Fox 4 News.